Hello and welcome to my workshop again. My name is Jacek and in this video I will make a short tutorial on how to configure the Linux CNC uh, to work with the uh, CNC lathe. Uh, as I'm waiting for the parts uh, to arrive to finish the um, basically the control of the lathe uh, I've decided that a uh, short video about the Linux configuration may be useful for, for someone. So uh, first what you need to know uh, before you start uh, the configuration, uh, you need to know uh, what uh, type of uh, motors you have, so how many steps per revolution they have, uh, what is the gear ratio and what are the lead screw. For me, it's a 200 step uh, stepper motor. Uh, I use a reduction with a 14 tooth uh, pulley on the motor and 36 tooth uh, pulley on the ball screw. Uh, the ball screw itself has a pitch of uh, 10 millimeters and it's the same for uh, the two axes. Uh, another thing to consider is uh, uh, micro stepping settings on the stepper drivers and in this configuration I'm using the uh, one eighth of a step setting. So uh, another thing is uh, to know uh, your encoder account if you are using one for the spin rule. And if we jump closer, uh, I'm using a 60 count encoder uh, with the index signal and the phase signal. Um, I think it's uh, all you need to know to uh, make a first quick setup uh, of uh, Linux CNC and make your lathe moving. Okay, so let's go to the computer. Uh, I will show you how to quickly configure uh, your uh, CNC lathe using a Linux CNC. Uh, so basically, I have here what I have here is uh, running a Linux CNC distribution and. Uh, what you need to do is to go to program CNC and we will go with the uh, step count wizard which uh, is uh, made for configuring the machine uh, controlled by a parallel port which I am doing right now uh, here we will uh, make a new configuration and on the first step as you can see, we have some basic information about the machine. So the name of the machine and uh, the name of uh, our configuration files. The exist configuration, we should choose X and Z. Uh, light configuration basically. And the uh, default machine units for me will be the metric. So millimeters. Here we have the uh, more settings for the um, stepper uh, step and uh, direction signals. Uh, here we have a timing of uh, step poles uh, the, and the other uh, things that you can configure if you have uh, some issues with the uh, stepper communicating to the uh, stepper drivers. Uh, for my drivers this default one works perfectly fine so uh, let's go uh, to the next step. Here we have the settings for the parallel port and as you can see here we have uh, input, uh, uh, outputs of the parallel port and the input of the parallel port. Uh, what I'm using here just a sec. And what I'm using here 
so my settings are like this. I'm not using the uh, pin 2, so I will keep it unused. Uh, I used pin 4 uh, for the Z axis uh, step, pin 5 for the direction of uh, X axis. Pin 6 for the step of an X axis and Z will be the direction of the Z axis. Uh, pin 7, sorry, will be the direction for the Z axis. Uh, I also use inversion signals for the, uh, for the um, direction signals. Uh, I also use pin 4, 14 as an enable for the separate drivers, also inverted. And uh, if it goes to inputs, I use the pin 12 as an index of the spindle and pin 13 as a um, phase of uh, phase A of an uh, encoder spindle. So here will be all. Now let's go forward. Here you have a tab where you can uh, add a hard component to your axis uh, using the phase. So I will add a, a not a empty program, but a program which will display the spindle speed. Here you have a classic ladder. You can add the classic ladder interface. So basically, it will let you to use a, like a um, pro, pro ladder programming, like in case of the PLC controllers. So if you need in this stuff, you will know what to do. And it's sometimes pretty useful, especially if you want to do some small automation with the Linux CNC. It's uh, it helps a lot, especially if you worked earlier with the PLC programming. So let's go forward. Here we have the axis configuration, and here we put all the information uh, I thought uh, earlier. So the number of uh, steps for the um, one rotation of the motor. Here we have the micro step setting, which is 8 for me. Here we have a reduc reduction ratio I use, so it's 14 to 36. The pitch of the ball screw, which is 10 millimeters. And here we are, need to set a maximum speed of, uh, of uh, an axis. And as you will see, it's in millimeters per second. And I will try to go with uh, around 3000 millimeters per minute. So. Uh, you need, I need to put here a 50. I know that uh, this uh, setup will uh, can have a higher acceleration rate, so I will go with 1000. Um, if it comes to the uh, range of the motion of the axis, I will everything leave everything default because I still don't have any um, uh, limit switches. So let's test if the axis works. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's move the axis. Yeah, it's working. So let's uh, move to the next tab and uh, let's set up the Z axis. So we'll just. So let's set up the Z axis. And the settings will be the same as on the as for the X axis. So we will just go with micro step eight. The uh, gear ratio is falling to thirty six. The ball screw pitch is ten. The speed will be fifty millimeters per second, and we'll go with acceleration rate of one thousand. The uh, axis uh, range of mo movement will stay default because as I said, I don't have any limit switches. So let's go and test the mo axis movement. Yep, everything works. And okay. Oops. Let's go forward here. And this is a spindle setting, but because I don't use uh, inverter, the only thing I will change here is the number of the pulses of my encoder which is 60 and that's all done and now if we launch the 
uh, Linux CNC we should uh, have a working plate configuration. I just increase the jack speed to see if it moves. So let's take the X axis working and the Z axis working. The only thing we left to check if is check to check the uh, speed spindle speed readout. So I I set up my late to go around 420 RPM. I will turn on the late and let's see if it works. Uh, we are reading around 440, so I think it's uh, working properly. And basically that's all. Uh, if it comes to the quick configuration uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment and I will try to help you uh, I can go more into the details of the, the configuration and everything uh, but I think uh, just for basics of basics it's it's enough mm. So recently I'm working on a lot of different projects in my workshop, so uh, I decided that I will make more videos about it, maybe someone will find me useful and helpful. Uh, so if you want to know more, uh, subscribe or let me know in the comments and I will be back soon with another video.